Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina and today we are continuing our journey through interpreting the meanings of the 52 cards of the playing card deck, also adding their cardology meaning. So we look at the birth card, we look at the underlying, overlying cards. Before we get to the six of diamonds, which is today's card, I'm just gonna remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the information presented. Also subscribe if you haven't already because we will be having these uh, videos for the next you know month and for the month after that i guess every monday uh, until we finish the card suit check out the playlist for other card videos and uh, check out the classes the card classes i'm giving also my readings offer on my website which i will be linking below Okay, so today is the turn of the Six of Diamonds. This is a very feminine card. The Six has the energy of planet Venus. So it has the energy of some accomplishment. It has the energy of some worth, something worthwhile. It has the energy of something practical as well. And Venus, as it is connected to flowers, you can see I have some red flowers behind me. And um, yeah, so it has this manifestation of Venus, of accomplishment. You know, Venus is considered to be the most gentle planet. So the planet that gives you most comfort, most soothing, most luxuries. Uh, Venus is connected to... Um, you know, the, the material things that give you an extra bit of comfort. It's connected to bedrooms. It's connected to women in general. It's also connected to women who soothe, so like nurses, to the water element. So it's a very feminine planet and a very soothing and comforting planet. Then we have the diamond suit. The diamond suit is, of course, one of the red suits. It mostly um, evokes the earth element. So uh, the diamond suit is very connected to worth. It's connected to the value of things. It's connected to concrete uh, value and worth it's not just financial value but it's also concrete skills that one learns and it's also connected to land in general so because the the diamond is a red suit it's a more receptive suit it's a more uh, inward oriented suit it's a more you know feminine suit because it's connected to that yin type of energy so the six of uh, diamonds is a great synergy of these two elements of Venus that is evoked by the number six and also of the diamond suit, which is a very practical manifestation of energy. And we can also, you know, um, extrapolate and because we think of diamonds as the earth element and we think of the six as evoking Venus. We can think of the six of diamonds like Venus in Taurus. That's its highest manifestation where, you know, the energy is very stable and uh, the person is very anchored into enjoyment of their material environment. Okay, so that's in general the like the outline of the six of diamonds. Of course, in a card reading, the six of diamonds will show the success accomplishment with the diamond suit because all sixes are the worldly accomplishment with that respective suit. It's the most that the world can give you. So it shows enjoyment, it shows comfort, it shows pleasure in enjoying the things of the earth. So it shows success with finances. That's a really nice 
car to get, okay? If you have this card in um, a difficult place, so for instance, in a light on a star spread, you have it, it like something that goes against you, somehow this uh, fixation of mate on material abundance is going against, you know, the, the desired solution in the current situation. Or for instance, if you have this six of diamonds in the cards of truth, a system in the year spread, let's say, you know, with uh, the North Node, with Saturn, with Pluto, it means there, there is at least a delay uh, of this manifestation of enjoyment and success on a material level. And uh, at worst, you know, there is like a negative connotation, like this success comes with a lot of pain or it's very, you know, it comes, but it is ruined by something, by some other events, depending on the context, okay? Okay, so now let's think about the underlying and overlying card, because that's always some extra layer that we can give to the card. Because these cards that I'm showing, they are part of the, um, the queen spread or the the natal spread, as we call it in the cards of truth. Then we have an underlying card, which is part of the natural jack spread. And we have no overlying card, which is part of the natural king spread. So the underlying card for the six of diamonds is the nine of clubs. So this is where this energy comes from. This energy of material success comes from um, a high level, a conclusion of your intellectual skills, a conclusion of your ideas, or it can also be a contract because nine of clubs can be a contract. So this ge uh, naturally generates this six of diamonds. And the overlying card, which is where the, the six of diamond naturally aspires to become, is the three of spades. So after the, this achievement of some of success on the financial material plane, after this enjoyment of earthly things, then the energy is naturally uh, looking to expand individually. So this is an expansion of the person's individuality. This is the person kind of going into a battle to explore their options, to explore who they are. So these are the underlying and overlying cards. I'm also going to uh, tell you what the dates are, the birth dates are for the six of diamonds birth card. If you are born on January 21st, February 19th, March 17th, April 15th, May 13th, June 11th, July 9th, August 7th, September 5th, October 3rd, and November 1st, after sunrise at your place of birth, then it means you are a six of diamonds birth card. And also, if you like this um, calendar, it was done by one of my uh, subscribers who is also a graphic designer. Her name is Andresa Moro. You can look her up. And uh, this is free to download if you want to, you to look dates and see what birth dates they are. Okay, now if we think about the six of diamonds as a birth card, let's check out the birth spread. So the six of diamonds has um, a sun card that is the four of spades. That's very interesting because you can also see their ecliptic, which is their path is the three of spades, which also happens to be the overlying card for the six of diamonds so the more important so these people who are six of diamonds they are born with uh, a natural you know 
they know naturally they that they have this value they can bring into the world and they kind of have this natural accomplishment with their concrete skills or with their finances and they have their also this natural charm but on this life in this life they are on the path of developing this three of spades so three of spades is kind of proving your individuality it's showing you are a, a fighter okay because at the two of spades you are connected to something you need but at the three of spades you are expanding you are looking for other options so they are on the path of expanding themselves in a way of you know like searching testing training themselves improving themselves um and it can be it can take a conflictual manner because it will step on other people's toes this three of spades quite fiery and martial energy so this is their path in this life and the kingdom that they are building is a four of spades that's the sun card so that means that they want to have a security stability with their own person with themselves that's they are what they are going towards and it's not something super luxurious okay because yes the six of diamonds is the accomplishment of luxuries like enjoyment of the things of the earth but they are already born with that they have that intrinsically so the kingdom uh, they are building is not necessarily something super luxurious, okay? It's just something that just gets the job done. So they are not, you know, they don't want to live in a castle necessarily, but it's just something to cover their needs, which is the four of spades. Now I'm going to refer at uh, to the the cards and not the planets in them because when you judge a chart like half of it is where the planets are placed but that depends on the time and place of your birth. So I'm just giving you half of the picture. It's also important to see for yourself where the lord of the card is. For instance here the, the sun card is the four of spades, but then the, the lord of the card, the sun, is in the ace of hearts. So that the kingdom that they are building also has a very emotional component for the, um, you know, the person that was born on this date where this um, chart was created. This person, anyway, has quite... A lot of hearts in their spread they have the ten of hearts on the moon card so they adapt to life a lot uh, through their support of their environment and the love of their from their environment okay uh, we see in this particular example they have the north node there so there's something there's some separation there's something peculiar there's something you know confusing about the love they receive from the environment but of course again that depends what planets are in each card where the lord of the card goes etc they also have the ace of hearts on the jupiter card and that's how they um you know envision um plans on a long term because that's jupiter jupiter is also for a woman the man in their life so for women who are six of diamonds they are attracted to men who always you know have this uh, emotional outburst this new emotion that they can always find something new to love and uh, they also have this five of hearts on the north node card so in this life they need to develop this emotional side furthermore they need to go through some emotional improvements emotional crises which is the five of hearts and um yeah they don't have a lot of mind card they don't have a lot of clubs they have the three of clubs on the south node card so that shows that they come from past lives of you know 
uh, fighting for their ideas, being independent thinkers. But, you know, sometimes they can fall onto that, but that's not something that really satisfies them. They are more inclined in finding who they are, which is the, the three of spades, rather than, you know, fighting for an idea, which is the three of clubs. They also have the seven of clubs on the Neptune card, another club card relating to more the intellect. So for them, the intellect is more about a, a tense situation. Yes, we have that three, which is an odd card on the south node. So it's like a struggle. And then we have that seven on the Neptune card, which is letting go. So with the, the intellectual part, it's more like, you know, they have to, when they learn to let go of their principles, their concepts that are no longer serving them, then they can connect on a deeper level to the world because that's what the Neptune card does. Oh, and they also had another heart, which I didn't mention earlier. They have the nine of hearts on the Uranus card. That's a very heavy heart, you know, because it's interchanged with the seven of diamonds. So it's a semi-fixed card. But the nine of hearts is just like um, letting go of ideas. Okay, this is beautiful. This is worth loving. And this is not. And just being accepting and tolerating of everything. Just, you know, loving unconditionally. That's the, the nine of hearts card. And uh, that's on their Uranus. So that's one way to manifest their individuality. It's a very spiritual card. And uh, of course, it's also important where, where Uranus is placed in their chart. For instance, in this example chart, it's in the Ace of Diamonds. So their individuality, what they have unique and they can bring to the collective is flavored with um, a surrender, of the feelings, uh, a, a universal acceptance, and the beginning of something new and concrete, which is the Ace of Diamonds. And because it's on their Venus card, they love, they love, love, love beginning new projects, some new, new concrete things, okay? They, they love the potentials of something concrete. The Ace of Diamonds is also the, the barren plot of land. So if other factors indicated, they, they can also be much into real estate. Um, okay, so we discussed about the hearts, we discussed about the clubs. Now, they have another diamond there on the 10 of, uh, the 10 of diamonds on the Mars card. So how they deal with conflict, which is the Mars card, is uh, by using the concrete rewards uh, from the world, okay? So the, the concrete actions that they led and that they uh, invested in yield some rewards at the 10. So kind of they deal with their problems with money, like financially or in a concrete uh, way, okay? Of course, it also depends where Mars is. In this particular case, it's also in a diamond card in the Ace of Diamonds. So that shows, okay, these are not emotional people. They can uh, concretely solve a conflict. They're not gonna get, you know, too much uh, blindsided by emotions. Then uh, they also have another diamond card. They have the queen of diamonds on the Saturn card. So that can be that they are in service to people that are like the queen of diamonds, that are like good, managers of finances or they are like a mother type but uh, a mother that's focused on concrete things it's like an earthy you know type of mother that's very uh, practical or it can show that in crisis situations like something that involves long-term crises they deal with things very well in general of course it depends what planets are in that card because here you know we have pluto so that makes it a little difficult 
we have Saturn and the South Node. Saturn there, it's not so bad because it's the Lord of the card, so it helps it. But the South Node there and um, Pluto are a bit painful, you know, for that card. But that won't happen for everyone who's a Six of Diamonds, just for this particular example. But in general, they should be able to manage their crisis situations well. Their you know, long-term problems. Well, and then we also see a diamond on the Pluto card. So they invest a lot of uh, expectations into five of diamond things, like improving financially, like moving from one place to the other, like um, improving on their skills. But something happens when they do that and they're like, okay, maybe it's not... You know, I invested so much in expectations into this and it's not really what I expected. It's not really true for myself. And you will often see that the Pluto card is a, a card, the card before the birth card, because that needs to be, you know, destroyed and reinvented and purified so that the person is a better birth card. In this case, a six of diamonds. Then we also have the Eight of Space there on the Mercury card. So, you know, the, the eight and the nines that correspond to the North and South node are only accessed after we get rid of the, the victimization trip at the seven. So after the person is done with crying, like, why am I not as good as I used to be? Why are other people, you know, better than me at this or that, which happens at the seven of spades? Then at the, um, the eight of spades, there's a phase of inner journey. There's like an introspection. So the way that they manage their life and the way they communicate is very, you know, it's very self-oriented which is not a bad thing because, you know, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be more self-sufficient here, okay? Okay, so that was about it for today's video. I hope you found out some new information and um, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys next week with another video. It's gonna be the Seven of Diamonds. And don't forget that this week I'm going to do um, a giveaway of the, the card deck that I created. You have to go to the, the video where I announced the giveaway and uh, write a comment there relating to my question in the video. It's a very short video, like two minutes, so you can watch it. So yeah, I'll see you guys this week. If you want to buy the card deck, you'll also find the link in the description box. So looking forward to hearing guys from you soon. Bye.